Karen, who had a tattoo successfully removed with the laser technique. We'll talk to Raymond in a moment. Dr. Hillary, good morning to you. Morning. Um, interesting, because that can be the case, can't it? We rush out hot-headed youngsters and get the tattoo on that a little bit later in life we don't want. That's right. That's right. And it, and it doesn't just cause embarrassment because of the way it looks, but it can also affect uh, getting a job. Some people just don't like the tattoo on the forearm or on the forehead, and uh, there, is, uh, there are people walking around with uh, all sorts of spider, cobweb spidery tattoos mm. all over their face as well, and they bitterly regret it. Yes, I read about that guy the other week, actually, who's now trying to get the, 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 the spider's web removed That's from his right. face. Raymond, and we should say good morning, I think, straight away. Morning. Is this what happened to you? You had a tattoo? Yes, uh, I was basically 15 years of age, and me and my mate were going by the tattoo shop, and it was just a spur of the moment thing. Let's have a tattoo. But at that point in time, you don't realise how permanent a tattoo can really be. And it became a problem? Uh, most definitely, yeah. Right, I think we've got some pictures of it, have we, uh, Hilary? Yeah. There we are, there that's it what it was. That's uh, William of Orange? Yes. Uh, <laughs> which didn't go down very well with your Catholic girlfriend, I gather. No, not at the time, no. OK. So, when you were faced with the prospect of having it removed, what, what were you told? Uh, as I said, I got the tattoo when I was 15. I had it for about five years. I heard through the grapevine that it could be surgically removed, plastic surgery. Uh, I approached my own GP, who put me in touch with a plastic surgeon at the Glasgow Royal Infirmary. He assessed the tattoo and placed me on a waiting list, and I was on that for about five years. In between times, uh, I would phone them to see how far I'd be up the list, and just on the last occasion, they asked me to come in. I didn't know about the laser treatment at this time. I thought that it would be a skin graft. When I got to Cannesburn Hospital, where the laser treatment's done, uh, they says to me, would you like to take part in this new treatment? Yes. I just wanted rid of the tattoo. Well, everyone else, I'm anxious mm. to see the, 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 the finished product. Hilary, um, while we have a look at this, tell us about the treatment. Right, well, the treatment consists of uh, a the laser... Turn Raymond, so we can just have a full look. A at laser it. beam of light, which is shone on the pigmentation in the deeper layers of skin. And the, uh, the light is shone for a period of about a 30 billionths of a second. Enough energy is delivered to break up the uh, fibrous material that holds the pigment in place and breaks that down so that the body's natural defense mechanisms can get in there and remove the pigment. Now, it doesn't do it all at once. It takes several treatments, and I think you had about 24 altogether. In the early stages, there uh, about 24 treatments, but now it would only take about 9 to 10 treatments. To right. Really and the sharp answers, because we're right up against it here. For is, is it treatment for all? That's what we want to know. Not yet, but it's coming. Uh, this is a new technique. It's obviously very effective. And uh, there, is, there are long waiting lists, and we hope that by making this technique more available in the near future, more people with tattoos can get uh, It hasn't wholly cleared the tattoo. No, it's not completely gone, but it's a, I think but it's Raymond would say it's, it's <laughs> very much better. fading through time. No, it, uh, when the actual treatment was finished, uh, it was more bold. But through time, it's slowly, the, mm. the skin is actually taking that away. man. Raymond, yeah. thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you too. Pleasure. I think the message is you've got to make sure that you really want to keep the tattoo. It's, it's permanent. Well, unless you have to go through all this treatment. We'll take a break. After the break, Annabel Croft and Nigel Dempster will join us again.